Good morning, YouTube family. This is Team Cody Adventures, and just giving you guys a quick update on our latest uh, modification to the house. Okay, this was sim a simple project my sons and I completed, um, in which, as I'm showing you, this part of our fencing is actually a gate that we use to open and close our, our uh, open and close to back our travel trailer into the gate. Okay. So I'm backing up trying to give you guys a pretty good view of it. Okay, but uh, as you can tell, this thing is about 16 feet in width. Okay, and then about um, six feet in height. It's up a little bit, so it looks a little tall from here. Okay, now the reason why we did this is because we wanted to be able to back this travel trailer, okay, onto this parking pad. The previous gate we had actually linked in the front and as storms came through it began to look it began to began to look worse and worse and less secure okay so what we did was we came I came up with an idea of how to kind of secure this uh, to keep it from leaning and then at the, and at the same time uh, give it a better appearance also so what I did was of course the first thing was find some very sturdy posts to attach the gate to and that's one of the posts it's about eight feet in length and then the dimensions outside of that is like four inches by eight inches okay and then of course I went to um, the tractor supply company and picked up a barn gate of all things a barn gate that's the barn gate on the back side of it you can't see it from the front but if you come inside the gate you'll see that is actually attached to a barn gate. Now the barn gate prevents the gate from leaning. These panels from looking uh, they, the, the way they were leaning, the way they were looking prior to me making the adjustments, okay? It's nice, it's metal, it's sturdy. It's gonna hold up over time. And what I did was uh, after I placed the barn gate onto the post, I have some two by eights. I grabbed four two by eights, two up, the, up at the top, and then two at the bottom and I took these uh, two by eights attached them to the barn gate and then that allowed me to secure the panels to the barn gate all right another addition we did to keep it from leaning on one side because it's so long and then I added a little bit more weight by adding these panels to it that's creating more weight on it I placed the trailer jack on it also this is the trailer jack you can wind it up, wind it down as you need it to give it a little bit of adjustment. Okay. And then it's just a little simple Reese trailer jack I picked up from Walmart. Okay. For about 35 bucks. All right. But this was the simple update we did to the gate. Okay. Just a simple project. I've never seen anybody actually attach these panels to it. So, so uh a first for me maybe somebody else has done it before I personally haven't seen it and um, I figured I'd share it with you guys maybe there's somebody out there that could use this idea going forward okay guys take care goodbye